Today, Philo, Seto is back. Today, we are going to do the arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence. By definition, the term arithmetic sequence, it has to do with the sequence that have the first constant difference. The sequence that consists, let me say, consists of the first constant difference. You see, this is just a simple definition of what? Of arithmetic sequence some may call it a linear number pattern you see suppose now if i were to give you this sequence say we have four we have seven also have ten somewhere there then i ask you the question is to say now determine the general term or the end term of this given sequence how are you going to do that? Firstly, we know that our general term is given by Tn a n minus 1 d. From this given equation, we must find the value of d. We also need to find the value of a. We know that this is going to be term 1, term 2, term 3. And again, our first term is going to be A. For us to find the value of D, just need to say 7 minus 4. Going to get 3. Yeah, 3. Then, 10 minus 7, we also have get 3. At this point, we can then now do what? Substitute everything. Let us substitute our a, which is 4. You see? Let us also substitute our d, which is 3. At this point, we can then now do what? Simplify. By saying now 4 plus 3 multiplied by n, we get 3n minus 3, which is tn. If we further solve this, we are going to get 3n, 4 minus 3, we get plus 1. Then this is going to be what? Our nth term. Then number 2. As for number 2, let's say now I decide to ask you this question to say, determine the 40th term. The 40th term. How are you going to answer this question? It's so simple. Where you see n, you substitute 40. We already found our formula which is tn, 3n plus 1. Then where you see n, you substitute 40, 3, 40 plus one let's see what are we going to get from here we do have our calculators 40 plus one we get 121 this means now term number four is going to be 121 then let's see the third question let's say now for the third question, I decide to ask you this question now, which says which term now, which term is going, which term is equal to 85. How are you going to answer this question? It's so simple. It's so simple. Because now, 
It's so let me put it here so that you can see. It's so simple. Where we see TN, we are going to plug in 85. Then we know that our formula is TN 3N plus 1. Where we see TN, let us plug in 85 plus 1. We need to transpose 1 for us to solve for n. It's going to be 85 minus 1. Then we have Tn. We get 84 this side. Tn. Then let us divide everything by 3. Then finally, our n is going to be 84 divided by Three. get 28 what does this mean it means term number 28 is going to be 85 you see it's so simple and again if you are new to this channel kindly don't forget to subscribe